Jeff Wilson, previously an Otago Share Milker of the Year, tested Calf Boost on calves from birth to weaning against a control group. These groups were randomly chosen by birth dates. Two years later, herd testing was carried out on twin calves, one of which was in the control group and one on Calf Boost. Treatment versus control. The average growth rate of calves on Calf Boost showed an improvement of 14% and this meant on average a two weeks sooner arrival at weaning weight. The herd testing on the twin heifers which was carried out during their first season had the following results. Worth index. The breeding worth is similar because of the same genetics. The production worth indicates the potential for converting grass into production over the life of the animal. And the calf boost calf virtually doubled the result of the control group calf. The lactation worth indicates the grass conversion to production over the season, and this showed an 80% improvement for the calf boost calf. Control versus calf boost. This is the increase of milk produced by the calf boost heifer over control and showed a dramatic 14.2% improvement. That means more money in the farmer's pocket.